I almost forgot to uh, to mention one one modification that this man has that I like, but you need to know about it so you know how to work it. This is uh, the control panel and uh, the generator, um, your hot water heat. Um, that's your outside exterior light. Uh, anyways, let's just go through a test of all that. We've got propane. We've got some water in the fresh tank, holding tank, and gray tank. Um, and this battery is on. So your disconnect, like when you're when you're not using it, you turn this battery off. You push this off, and you can push it off, and that disconnects the 12 volt battery from the coach. Now you can turn that off. And your refrigerator is a three-way refrigerator so it'll run on 110 volt 12 volt or propane so when there's no 12 volt and you aren't hooked to shore power or the generator is not running then obviously your only other choice to run the fridge is on propane so that's what that is there gas now this little indicator says that your pilot light there's a little flame in there that makes the refrigerator cold. It heats up the ammonia and there's a phase change and that's how it makes the fridge cold. Um, but the reason I'm doing this video is because this is the modification. So normally what you do is you turn this indication to gas. This is your igniter button. You push that, it's like a barbecue igniter button. And this is like a pilot light button. Um, the temperature is currently set to four. That's what they recommend you to start it with. And uh, this button is the aftermarket piece. It is an electronic igniter that replaces this push button igniter. So it's off now. Um, and, and the fridge still goes because the light's going. But let's turn this off. Okay, let's turn that off. And see how that flame indicator goes down. All right. Well, remember just two minutes ago, our battery is still off. It's off. And this igniter is electronic. So if we turn it back to gas and we hold this button and we turn it to on, nothing. No flame. That's because to light the fridge, your battery needs to be on because this is an electric igniter. When they installed this electric igniter, they uh, took apart the push button igniter. So this doesn't, this push button doesn't work anymore. So see, it's on, I'm holding the button, but no flame. So what I'm gonna do, turn this on. Okay, we have power. We hold this button, and you can hear it. Boom, it lit. That's it. You can see the flame indicator going up, and uh, that's it. Now that it's lit, it'll gradually rise. Now that it's lit, we can turn the battery disconnect off. All right. So while we're in here in the fridge, uh, let me just show you what I've got. I've been tinkering with this lately, so um, it might not be as cold as it could. But the fridge is about 50, uh, I'd, I'd call that 55. And the freezer is, I'd call that 28. Um, so the fridge is working. Okay, you can hear the generator purring right now. We're not plugged into shore power. Now I'm going to show you uh, all the appliances inside the van. All right. First off, the air conditioner is on high cool. There we go. Temperature gauge is right at about 50. Um, I'm going 
gonna go ahead and turn this off because it gets kind of windy and noisy. Uh, the next thing is the furnace. Um, turn that up. These fans are 12 volt. Okay, that one's working. That one's working. Furnace should kick on here in a minute. Lights, lights, lights. Uh, we already did one on the fridge, but while the generator is going, we will show you the microwave. Let's do like two seconds. There, it lit up and it's working. Um, the hot water heater is on. We got 70 degrees in here. I'm just gonna try and Okay, so the hot water is on. You can see it rising there. That noise you heard is the water pump, so you saw water obviously you know the water pump is working there. It's cold and hot. Uh, we'll turn the fan on or the stove. Now the generator's going, the fan's going, the carbon monoxide might come on, but we'll keep this brief. Alright, stove works. Um fridge, okay, the light again. Uh, we've gone through the water. Oh, um, there's a little fan in here and light, and it works. And the furnace is right down here. I got a temperature gauge in there as well. I'm sure you guessed already. Here's a generator. Uh, it is counting. It's at 109.5. It's running. The hot water heater. We know it works. We're going to turn that off. Uh, we'll test this. The generator is going, so you can see that there's four lights on on the battery. Uh, we're going to turn the water pump off. 12 volt off. Oh, the generator is on. We'll turn the generator off. Let's turn that, I'm gonna turn that back on because that furnace was going and we're gonna blow out all that, all that hot air. We're in the, uh, the driving area or the, the uh, cockpit of the van. And uh, in this portion of the video, we'll go for a test drive. And I'd like to show you all the functions uh, that are useful to the driver and show you that they're all working. And uh, some of the engine components like the AC and heater are working too. So as you can see, um, okay, it's about, it's in the mid 90s. I, I think it's a little cooler than that. It's just that thermometer is in the sun. Uh, and that is the, uh, the outside temperature. And I'm sitting here idling uh, with the air conditioner on. And uh, so inside with the AC, it's about, AC's blowing at about 42, and that is at an idle. Uh, what I'm gonna do is turn this to the dash, and turn it to the heat, and we'll watch that temperature go up here in just a minute. Uh, door locks are right here, and they are both in good working order. Uh, driver side power window, passenger side power window, and here are your uh, mirror controls. So you dial this to the left, 
left, right, up, down. Uh, we'll flip it to the right side. Yeah. Up, down, left, right. All right. Um, we will test the cruise uh, when we get going. Uh, right now, we're gonna go through here to test the uh, wipers. And they're working. And uh, the uh, wiper, the washer fluid is working. Uh, we'll go through the lights in a different section that I'll kind of do all the uh, electrical, but that's the light switch there. Um, we'll go through the drive there, uh, all the gears. Uh, stereo. Turn that off. Sorry, I'm just having a hard time focusing. Scan functions, memory functions. AM, FM is working. Uh, I don't have a CD or a tape to test it, so that is unknown at this time. Uh, all the power outlets and cigarette lighters do work, and the heat is on. And as you can see, it is back up to 100. It's, about a, it's probably about 150, I guess. Cigarette lighter just popped out, it's glowing red. Uh, I'm gonna turn this back on AC, it's pretty hot. All right, I'm gonna buckle up and we're gonna go through a test drive. All right, we're right after this silver Dodge here. All right. All right, we are accelerating, entering the highway speed, second gear. and what I want you to notice on the test drive is I'm holding the camera with one and my hand is off the wheel I want you to note that the van tracks nice and straight and uh, drives very nicely uh, effortlessly actually uh, we're gonna test the cruise now we turn it on and you can see the cruise light comes on and we're gonna set the cruise at 45 bam we just set it and it is working all right so no gas all right so cruise is working nice I'm gonna turn that cruise off the light will come off and uh, that's that uh, all four gears are there. There's one, two, drive, and overdrive. We're going to kick this overdrive button off. I don't know if you could hear it or feel it, but uh, overdrive light is off, and we are in third gear. Kick that back on. And that's that. That'll conclude the, uh, the test drive.